and welcome back on this channel. So I know it's been a while, I think maybe three weeks. Um, I have a lot of difficulties this year to post a video every week. Uh, yeah. Mais je suis là Oui, quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as Tiens, oui Ok. So, I have a comic book convention at the end of the month and they asked me to draw uh, something that represented my art style uh, depending of my biggest influence. So, I don't know if you know that, but I used to draw comic books uh, like 10 years ago and I created my own comic book at the time named 1911 Pistol and the biggest influence I have in the comic book world in general is a mangaka named Tsukata Hojo. Tsukata Hojo is the creator of a lot of very well-known uh, mangas such as Cat's Eyes, Family Campo, and also my favorite, City Hunter. I it's it's my favorite like manga ever. Even though uh, <laughs> I don't know what was going on in Rio's pants at the time. I mean, um, in France in the nineties, we had like a TV kids program uh, full of animes. And I think they just at the time bought like a lot of cheap anime, thinking it would be okay for kids to watch. But obviously, City Hunter is not anime for kids. I mean, uh, yeah, if you know the manga, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and what they did, it was like they put a lot of censorship on the anime and so when the characters were like drunk they pretended that they were drinking apple juices so you have you had all these characters with their cheeks all red from apple juice yeah and so in city hunter they cut a lot of moments in every episode so when i was like 10 years old i was watching city hunter and i was in love with Rio Saiba. Uh, his French name is Nicky Larson because at some point is American something and I think the name of Carrie was like Laura Martini, like she's Italian now, who knows, who cares? I don't know why they didn't keep the Japanese name but I don't know, it was very like Let's give let's give them some international names. I don't know. Um, anyway, so so I did something for this convention. Are you ready to see it? Let's go. It's here. Ta -da! So that's me again with Rio Saeba, my childhood lover. Uh, I loved him so much because he was strong and he was funny and I didn't get what was happening in his pants at all. I mean, when I was 12 years old, I discovered that the anime I was watching, uh, there was a, a comic book about it. So I had the first one and there is a moment that at the time, I didn't know what it was talking about because like Rio is behind some curtains and there is there is something poking behind the curtain and i felt that maybe he was holding like a piece of wood a branch or something like i wasn't aware of what was going on in a man's pants emotional damn it because I was a child and so I was like oh he's trying to be funny with the piece of wood I didn't know that in the comic book there was a lot of big snakes everywhere 
on his pants. I didn't draw the big snake, obviously, but I draw myself like, oh, he's touching my ass, by the way, but I was okay with that. Because let we can say that Rio is kind of stalker and also like he has a lot of sexual issues. I mean, <laughs> he's kind of creepy in some ways, but I still love him. I don't know why. Maybe because he's tall and dark hair and handsome. I don't know. Um, anyway, if you want to see how I did this drawing, you can keep on watching. I also have a Patreon page if you're interested by it. The link is in the description box. I also have an Instagram page at elfilep 2 art and you can follow me on Facebook if you want. Well, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to put a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and you can put a comment if you want uh, on the video. Uh, see you soon. Bye.